Oi. Witcher. It's uh it's a little sad to me that the gameplay loop of this game is just gonna be we have to kill every dog we see. Yes. Lest they become a bar guest. Okay, Eternal Fire Shrine. I guess we can donate here if we wanted to. Yeah, but they won't take any of our food. Useless station. Yeah. Maybe it just makes light and light repels monsters. That's what I've decided in my mind's eye. Okay, okay. That's a chair. Do you uh, have a uh, like waypoint for the Reverend or? Yeah, just, he's like, well. Uh, his house, his house is up here. I mean, yeah, I, I I know we saw it on the map. I just didn't know if we had it marked on our mini map or something, or you were just no. like, okay. I just have an excellent sense of direction. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna mute Discord real quick. Okay. <laughs> I'm just noticing that it keeps making noises. I'm just gonna turn streamer mode on. There we go. Okay. Oh, the game crashed. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sick. Uh, it <laughs> wow, I did. I didn't even tab. Like it was windowed, and it's not the first time I've clicked out of the window. It just. Uh, we right, well, I mean, we saved not that long ago, so. No. Yeah, it's fine. Nobody will even know. I'm just gonna move the window back to the center of my screen and then restream it. How, how how are you feeling the game so far, Mike? Feels good. Uh, I think it's like I said, the gameplay. Oh, let's watch this real quick, Bale. Yes, let's watch this. Um, the gameplay definitely feels dated. Uh, sure. I mean, I'm I'm hoping that we can, like up and get like more abilities and stuff he like that. Maybe Witcher, a professional or, monster uh, slayer. Yeah. Contract yeah. To I think you're right. Curse that held a monarch's daughter. It was enough to spend the night with the princess. This is the Striga Dusk thing. till dawn. Yep. If only she were not a deadly beast, a Striga. The traitor responsible for the curse became the bait. This is pretty loyal to the yeah book story. Oh, this is interesting. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's got the good handle. You'll have to see it. You got a whole little cinematic here. This is fun. Your mic might be a little far from your face for some reason right now. Okay. I mean, I was not saying much. <laughs> no, okay. Honest, but yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, because his whole thing here is he's just got to stay. He's just got to keep the Striga out of its tomb until dawn. Yeah, because he's not trying to kill it because Foltest knows that it's hurt his daughter and so he wants girl to save to her save if her. possible yeah. yeah that is a weird that is a bizarre look for a striga <laughs> i i don't know though i the, i feel like the tv show one kind of looks like that i think it's a little less muscular maybe it's a little like lanky oh yeah this one's a little more compact that's true yeah, yeah. but it, but i mean the one in the show is is also very gross <laughs> Yeah, it is. I wonder if this is uh, how he gets amnesia, or if this is just like they just put. No, the this yeah, I don't. Here. This cannot be how he gets amnesia because no, because stuff yeah. happens after this. In the yes, books. A, a lot of stuff happens after this. Yeah.
honestly pretty good looking cutscene for the time. Again, I don't yeah, know how much yeah, that yeah. is like if it got remastered i don't know if the enhanced edition is actually like a remaster of the original game or if it's just like it has all the dlc in it yeah i'm not sure i mean i don't think it, i don't think they would have like redone cutscenes redone the or cutscene, anything no. like that yeah and i think i think the neverwinter nights games actually had good looking cutscenes in them as well from yeah. what i recall well i mean yeah this this is probably not in engine at all i assume this no, is just yeah, like yeah. uh yeah but i'm just thinking about like dating it to yeah. the time i don't really remember what yeah, cutscenes yeah. looked like back then Although looking at this now, it is insane already, like just the leap. Because I'm, I'm thinking of like what the opening cutscene to The Witcher 2 is. And wow, it's like, I mean, this looks good, but like the <laughs> opening cutscene of Witcher 2 is like fucking insane. Yeah. We've definitely come a long way. It's also been 15 years, which is yeah. insanely fucked up to think about. But. <laughs> Oh, it's a little, little bit of spider manning. Parkour. I can't believe how long this is for something that comes like before the menu screen. Yeah. Well, I guess I guess the idea for this probably is like when this game came out, no one here, yeah. at, you know, outside of Poland knew what the fuck a Witcher was. Yeah. So I like, let's let's set sure. this up. You know, we got to show what what our main Geralt's all about. Oh, he's going in. Yeah, he's got some cool. Some cool swordplay coming. <laughs> like later. Oh. Bye. <laughs> this is really long. It's nuts. This is going to be the whole, the entire fight with the Striga. <laughs> like this whole story is just this cutscene. Yeah, he, he's just, just like another potion. He's getting it. He's getting in the tome. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he just he sealed it with a sign. Little mm -hmm. little you're in action. Sets an alarm clock real quick. Yeah. Well, because he has got to he's got to keep her out until until sunrise. So yeah. Oh yeah. That was one of my favorite parts of that story. Honestly, was that he doesn't like actually beat her with combat early. He's just like yeah. Bides his time, gets it, gets in bed real quick, and is like, all right, I'm gonna wake up, and this problem is gonna be solved. Okay, I was wondering if that were they were still gonna have <laughs> that part. Though that, yeah. Like, wounded, the even though she's wounded. The and gained fame. Okay. The world changed with the coming of the Great War, the time of the sword and axe, the time, the time of, of disdain. disdain. Geralt of Rivia disappeared, all but forgotten. But that's another story. Okay. Yeah, I guess they don't really get into it. No. Yeah. Weird. She just has speed tree. Uh, he just has amnesia. Yeah. Classic storytelling plot device. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, it it does make sense because, like, if if you think about, like, again, you're doing an IP game set after, you know, like a multi novel series that no one in your audience has read. Yeah, you know, yeah. I guess it does, this, this yeah. is what you do to. Yeah, it's actually a very good point. You make one very yeah. cool cutscene. Yeah. Okay. Well, now we just uh, we just run this way. We yeah. don't need to refight all these dogs. We know what yeah. they're about. Yeah. The school we might need to kill though. 
Uh, oh, don't forget, uh, we have, you got Ard. You could knock him over, maybe one-shot him. Oh, yeah. We should have tried that, but at this point, yeah. this guy's dead. Now, who is this clown? Seems like a dude. Is that the herbalist? Have Just we met? He looks like, the looks like the herbalist. I lost my memory. Just a traveler. I've never heard that before, though it's possible. Now the little medic will care for you. Shawnee can't help. Shame. Ah, now I remember. Get out of Rivia. I hired you in Novigrad to rid my storage of Garcades. Oh. If you say so. Oh. I we do know him. Coin, but you helped me nonetheless. Guess I was generous then. My this dog's running around room. in the background, and I'm like, so nothing's I'll a bargain. Oh, he's thing. about to give us money. I could use the gold. Here's 100 orders. Incredible. Wow. In okay. Incredible. I'm glad the game crashed and just gave yeah. us 300 gold. That's so much better. Nope. No dog combat. Thank you. We're on a mission. Yeah. I like the, like, light little jog he does with his arms here. <laughs> Can I vault this? No. I'm never not gonna hit space to try and jump. Yeah. But the. Uh, right. But I mean, not not being able to vault that that must be like an Aurora engine. Thing. Yeah, it is. There's no Z axis. Yeah. Because the Aurora engine is very much like playing Dungeons and Dragons. Yes. Uh, yes. And that is it. Locked. No, oh, just I can't. I can't pick it. I can't bash it open. No. Boring. Well, uh, you could try casting Ard at it, maybe. Okay. That was worth. That was worth a shot. That yeah. seemed like a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Owner's I mean, again, like just going by like how Witcher Three works, there are very specifically like certain destructible objects you can break. Yeah. Well, and we've even seen it here because we cleared that rubble with a hard Yeah, it seemed, very, yeah. it seemed very clear that that was like Oh, so we got some flint now so we can we can make fire. Yeah. Now that I know there are barrels around the buildings. There's like a tool shed. I want to get some lock picks. No? Game? Not here? Okay. No, I guess. Cool. Yeah, no. Sick. Never mind. Ger Geralt's too wide to fit through there. <laughs> It's a big dude. Somebody else? Somebody who has a hundred orins for us? Nope. For the same guy. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, you know, it might be. Yeah. He just walked really fast. Yeah. Nope. That's right. Or, or, or they're, we, they're just 20% of people in this area have that model. Oh, look at that guy. Option? Yeah, that's, that's yeah. probably actually more likely. Oh, the village militia. These are the band. The guy said these are the bandits. Stop. Uh, what are you? A witcher. We're militia. We keep the peace. I'll be Did going. he say these were the bandits? We need to see you're not that, ill. Like, I thought the traveler or the herbalist guy was like, oh yeah, they check. call themselves What's the militia. That? They uh, blob it a blue will, blob. Do you, will you look foul but healthy? Move along. <laughs> well, the, I mean, these guys, these guys just, yeah, they're just trying to make sure you don't have the plague, I guess. Yeah, he seemed very nice. Oh, but they're now the focus. So, uh, for mode, it feels like a root mode is probably good for dogs. Yeah, agreed. I did just kill one of them by accident, I think. I think they're also putting bleeds on you. You're dying. They are. I am dying. What was the item? What was the thing to use the quick item? I don't remember. But don't it, it's remember. on. It's on the left side of your bar. If you yeah, I just click on it. Yeah. Oh yeah, this guy's mad at you. Well, all right. Well, so much for now. gaining the trust of the villagers. <laughs> well, he shouldn't have gotten hit by my sword in the middle of a fight. Yeah. That was a stupid move on his part. Oh, this is just how this is our life now, hey? Oh god. Okay. Okay, well, <laughs> great. In my defense, I didn't mean to 
kill them. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Makes sense. I mean, that was not something we ha had to worry about, like, in the tutorial area when we were fighting against yeah. the Witcher, so... None of the Witchers got hit. Meat vendor, Reverend's house, chapel. He's probably at his house, given that it's... Jesus, how many... Man, it's just fucking ghost dogs everywhere. Alright, back to early again. There we go. Yeah, they just come out of the woodwork. I don't like that I have to go out of combat mode to hit the loot button. It's a small nitpick. Oh, yeah. That's another dog. You know what? We're just gonna kill the dog right off the right out of the gate. It seems faster. Sorry, little guy. I didn't want to do it. We had to do it. We had to do it. We knew what you had were gonna to become. To Every dog is untrustworthy in this game. <laughs> just immediately a face shot. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. Maybe we should meditate. <laughs> well, I mean, we can, but I mean, while he's asleep. Yeah. Might as well see what kind of treats he's got. No, no, for sure, for sure. Got this beer. Don't mind if I do. I don't even know what that was. Gonna take it, though. Could have moused over it. Okay. Barrels down here. Medium strength alcohol. Flint. Yeah, yeah, we want all that. Barrel rack. There's gonna be booze here. Oh yeah. Flint and Ethelene's prophecy. A book. Can we can we read the book? I hope so. Yes. Okay. 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 It's not that long. Okay. <clears throat> wait, yeah, wait. So scroll, scroll down to the bottom. What did it say at the bottom? Sorry. This book adds this book a glossary, added a glossary entry entry to, your, to the journal. To journal. Okay. Okay. I tell you that the time of the sword and axe approach. Oh, this is just the. This is the exact prophecy that guy just read out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, okay. I'm not going to read it out loud. That it's in. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's fair. That's fair. Now you're saying we should meditate before we wake this guy up. That's your thought. That is my thought. But we don't have to. I don't. I think we have to find a fire. Is the thing to meditate, right? Can you just rest oh. at any point? I don't know. I think you gotta have a fire. I think you gotta have a fire. Left click on a lit campfire to enter meditation mode. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Meditation. Left click on the meditation icon in the dialogue. Yeah. So you either gotta be in a dialogue option or at a campfire. We're waking okay. this guy up, Bale. All right. Be gone, devil's breed. He is a this guy. awful looking little rascal. There's nothing to speak of. Indeed, there is. I he looks like. Uh, did you ever watch They'll the claymation Christmas movies? Showing gratitude. Uh, yes, I'm a. Uh, yes, yes. Beast? There's a Santa Claus one a witcher. where I could help. he like another witcher came recently. He has to interact Berengar. with this like Berengar. Berengar. The beast. Oh. When it howled. I'm not Berengar. If you want my trust, he's been here though. Bear the eternal yeah. fires light the people and dispel the darkness. You'll find five chapels around the village. Okay, we gotta use those. Fire won't scare the beast. This is more we gotta use those like dog. stations the that we found. Eternal fire. Bless oh fear. yeah yeah. You can be sure it will scare off beasts, for it has been said that though his soul be in darkness and his visage be a horror, do not judge him hastily, for he will carry the flame of hope into the night. Yeah, the eternal also, fire you is like a big be religion in the, glow in the, of the world. Eternal fire. Oh, okay, I All got right. it. Yeah. But it will cost you 100 warrens. Very yeah, well. Right, well. But the eternal fire must appear at night in all five chapels. Hmm. Okay, so so obviously we're going to ask him questions, but so what I'm thinking is that, remember that shrine we found, the Shrine of the Eternal Fire? I'm guessing now that we have Flint, we can light it. And so if we light all five around the map, then we complete what the, this guy's quest and get $100. I love $100. That yeah. sounds like a good story. Yeah. I'm looking for men who wish First of all, does this guy know about the Salamander That's guys? Not wise. Why? 
Clearly he does. That may shorten your life. Do I look scared? Another Witcher came here before you. He too swaggered with audacity, and yet yes, probably you talking about him? Berengar again. Not mm -hmm. likely. He Same Berengar ran away. Is Berengar a little coward? Do not sneer yeah, maybe. at Salamandra. The whole village fears them for a reason. You must convince us all. What can I do? For me, destroy the beast. As for the others, all right, is it okay, over? here we Little go. Okay. Can you solve so we have a series of problems are they elders of some sort yeah. that we have Everyone to solve to convince them to tell us about the salamanders. Those rich yeah. Okay, emergent. makes sense. And make a city guard. Gain their trust, and you'll win the trust of the village. We'll see. Wait. Okay. They need to believe I sent you. Show them this ring of the eternal fire. That that we can do. Drag and drop signets in the highlighted slots to activate the signet gameplay dialogue. Oh, interesting. Left click the signet in the conversation to present the ring. Characters recognizing signets will be more favorably inclined. Presenting the wrong signet may offend the character. Wow. Okay, we should okay. talk to him again, though. Yeah, he had a lot more dialogue options. We need you to wake up, Stay guy. Uh, we don't need the story of the fire in the chapels. Are you, Are you a chaplain, chaplain of, the eternal fire? of the eternal fire? Yes, heathen. Only the eternal fire <laughs> wow. can us from the white frost. Really? All right, so guy. Says the prophecy of yeah, I, uh, I believe the they uh, they don't so? like non-humans no at all. will die to be born again from a seed part of that will not sprout. Yeah, that's true. Burst into flames. That you makes sense. Most people yourself. aren't like you super fond of the Witcher's so mutant D me. stuff. Who gave you yeah, but I mean, but I think they also humans, like hate elves and dwarves and, and stuff. Mm -hmm. so, got it. Answer. Yeah. Who? They're the Cerberus organization of the Witcher world. Uh, the okay, so I think, fire, I, no yeah, doubt. I think we're being snarky Return saying that, but I, that's no, yeah, yeah. I'm being snarky with. Freaking angry Gandalf! No, no, I, I, I agree that that is I'll what we, I wanted to say. I just wanted to <laughs> make sure we That's were good. on the same page. Yeah, yeah the, the apology was just never going to be an option. It was never on yeah. the table. Why? Okay. Well, I wonder if we light those fires if maybe so the. We'll stop the, getting attacked the, by Vargas. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe, or maybe we have to kill the beast and that'll stop it. Okay, so so are are these red icons now? Are the, those are the shrines? Yeah, they are. Yes, and we have some quest items to light them. It seems. Okay. Then we'll summon one Vargas per shrine. Sure, sure. Um, are any of the other guys we he told us to talk to like in this specific area? Before we go uh, at the chapel this is heron's house the inn odo's house and crypt okay and mccola's up there so no they're all kind of well, they're, if we start going down this way yeah we'll kind of be on the way yeah. oh my god it's fucking dogs. okay so your assumption from like an hour ago is correct. If we stun him yes. with uh, with thingy, it'll... we just yeah. Also, I got it's mad at the game like five minutes ago for making me go out of combat to loot bodies, but it turns out you don't have to. So okay. I apologize right. to the video game. <laughs> ways to go. I feel like they're pretty easy to spot these shrines, anyways. Is that one right there? Yeah. No. Please, please attack, Carol. Thank you. We're good. So, uh, I wonder if uh, next time we have like two of them like that, I wonder if your Ard has like enough of a cone that you could like hit both. Oh, of them that you can hit both of them and just like double. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That's a good call. I bet we'll be able to test it. In yeah. 
30 to 45 seconds, depending yeah. on how long it takes okay. him to run to that shrine. That's gotta be it right there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're questing, we're, contra we're doing contracts. Yep. Okay, yeah, yeah. Got all three of them there. Oh, I only hit one. Like... Okay, easily. I wonder if you could line him up if you could hit more than one though or not. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe maybe it's just like a very narrow cone. Yeah. I do appreciate that the quest items have their own cab, so they're not like fucking up. Me your, too. Like, your favorite, right? Yeah, especially because it doesn't seem like you have a lot of space at the start here. Maybe maybe once we get these hundred rounds we can fucking buy a backpacker thing. Yeah. I am just gonna run straight to this shrine because I am yeah, interested yeah. to see if uh clearing the oh, there's still one of these guys. Uh if clearing the shrine reduces these goddamn ghost dog yeah. attacks. Trying to like thread the needle on. Yeah, and the, the uh, and the Reverend didn't say anything specifically about him, like how, where to find or kill the beast, right? He just gave us this quest. Yeah, he just said the other guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he just said this would keep the beast away. Or I wonder if maybe when we light the fifth one, we fight the beast. That's or... kind of where my head just went. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Combat music came out, and then. We just Who's killed this? this guy. No, no missions for you. Oh, <laughs> all right. Stomach hurts. Did witch? Ah, oh, my stomach hurts. <laughs> no, that's talk to that guy, or is he just gonna say that over and over again? Oh, my He's just gonna say that. Hurts. Okay. His stomach right. hurts. Witch. He's got a tummy ache. Easily. Professional. Easily. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> he oh, just that killed dog just that killed guy. that guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well. Well, we should loot him for sure. Yeah, you're right. That's an exceptional point. He has not. Oh, he... oh, oh. For gold. Hell of a yeah. And, and, and more flint. flint. We're living, living, loving life. Hey, what do you think these little monkeys are? I have no idea. I can't attack it. Seem it. like you can attack them. Yeah. It just exists. This is the last one, right? It is. Uh, that got rid of all of them immediately. Oh, sick. They just went away. No, hey, okay, I'm out of combat. We did it. Okay, well, that's the Reverend's quest done, so I guess we just go start talking to the other people. Yeah. Well, I mean, we probably have to go back to him to get our money, I would think, but... Yeah. Yeah. But we can grab, like... But yeah, Karen but if we're, if we're close to other people, we should definitely talk to them first. Just yeah, see we're, what they want. we're around them. What's the what's that white dot towards the top of the map? That's Mikkel. That's one of okay. the three. For some, the other okay. two are like locations, but that's a person. I think is maybe the distinction. So we, we go up. You want to hit him? You want to hit him first? Yeah, we go to Mikkel, and then we go down to Heron Brog, and then we circle back this way, and then Bob's your uncle. And then we're the hero of the outskirts. The hero of the outskirts. Mm -hmm.